we are going to do operations on sets. Now, sets have two kinds of basic operations. One is union and the other is intersection. For union, what do we have? Union of sets means there is a set specifically which contains the elements belonging either to A or to B. And it is always represented that is the union of sets will be represented as A. This is the sign of union. This is the sign of union B. That means the elements which will be present in this set A union B are going to be either part of A or part of B. Now this is represented as they are going to contain element X such that X belongs to A or X belongs to B. So we have taken up an example here where A is a set containing elements 1, 2, 3, 4. B is another set containing elements 2, 4, 6, 8 and we have to find out A union B. Now as I discussed with you, this is the set containing elements either A or B. So that means it is going to contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 8. Now you can check that each element of this set, that is first one, 1, is part of A but it is not an element of B. 2 is an element of A as well as B. Third, 3 is an element of A but not B. 4 is an element of both A and B. 6 is an element of B and 8 is an element of B but not of A. That means A union B is a set which has each element either belonging to A or belonging to B. It might have elements that are belonging to both also, right? So that is in union of sets. Next we have the intersection. Uh, intersection is just going to be the opposite of this. That is the set which contains elements belonging to both A and B. Now here we are specifying that intersection means the elements which are present in A and B. The element should be present in both. That is you can say common to both. That will be contained in intersection. So we represent the intersection with the opposite sign of union. Union is U and this is inverted U. So intersection is represented with inverted U like this. And this is written down as it contains element X such that X is a belonging to A or belonging to B. Now here both the things are true. That means it should belong to A and it should belong to B. Now for the next example we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and B we have 2, 3, 5, 7. Here intersection is to be found. For finding out the intersection we must consider the elements that are common to both the sets that is A and B. So we have 2, 3 and 5. These are the only elements common to both A and B. So here A intersection B is going to be 2, 3 and 5. So I hope you are clear now with union and intersection. Union means the set is going to contain elements which are present in either A or B. It might contain the elements that are present in both also. Whereas in intersection we are going to consider the set which will be having elements of A and B. That means the common elements of A and B.